脱出ではなく新たに術師を招き入れたのか He split the sea Who is that? I'm sure you're wondering. Yep. Oh! <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, today we are watching episode 15 of season 2 of Jujutsu Kaisen, and I am not ready for this episode. Last episode, you know, we are on the beach, we are fighting, and guess who decides to chime in last minute on the way out? Toji. I, I don't know what's going on. I literally feel like we're in a Zen and reunion, and I. This can go either very well or very bad. I'm hoping it's going the good direction, but I am petrified because we know the power that Toji has. And why is he there? What are you doing? Why are you there? I, I doubt it's to pay child support. So. Well, let's see how that's going to unfold. But before we get started, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for me. And you should totally check out my Patreon where I do post full uncut versions of everything. And we are weeks in advance in comparison to YouTube. So let's get into episode 15. Poor Nanami, he looks pretty beat up. I literally feel sick to my stomach, dude. This is insane. Oh, my God. So, no, 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 you stick it in a cut the mono. Cut it over, mocking it. Look at him, he's so happy. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, can I borrow that real quick? He knows who that is. うーん。大神ババの高齢術は死後も継続する。全員当時の肉体に上書きされた孫の魂に呪力はなく、その上に肉体は呪力を消費し。わお。殺戮人形と化した。Wasn't he always? <laughs> Split the sea. Not only <laughs> is Toji pulling up like big dick energy, he's over here reenacting Moses and splitting the sea out of sheer power. Insane. Wow. <laughs> I 
No shot, man. Oh my god. Who is that? I'm sure you're wondering. Yep. Oh, oh my god. The disrespect. The disrespect. I'm sorry? Oh my god. He's gonna turn the octopus into a freaking shish kebab. Not just any human. myself <laughs> I'm so nervous right now <gasps> what is that huh what happened Another one bites the dust. Dagon to you, Jure Yuri. Ato Makasego, Ningen Nadoni or Rosto, whatever no Tamoshi or me. I better get Toji up in there again. Shakuneng on a Kuya de Matao. Sati. No, 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 What is going on? No. No. Oh, oh my God. Say psych. Oh. Oh. Oh sh! We're feeding him fingers. Samara, <laughs> そこの時代だが最大限利用させてもらおう。板取り裕二は指を二十本すべて取り込んでも肉体の主導権を少なに譲らないだろう。一度二十本も取り込めば適用が追いつかず一時的だが肉体の主導権は少なに譲らないだろ
Are we not gonna like show non Han? I can't even. I can't even talk. I can't even talk. I have so much anxiety right now. Maki and Nanami and the old man. Are they okay? They 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 got barbecued. Um, I don't feel like they're gonna go out that easily. Like, there's no way they're gonna kill off Nanami and Maki in such an easy way without them like fighting. So that's 11. That's 11 fingers that he just ate in one sitting. Oh, they're alive. Where's his arm? Oh, Sukuna. Oh, shit. <laughs> I almost don't want to breathe. Oh. Holy shit. ガキルもまずはお前らだ。俺に何か話があるのだろう。死体。死体に they want Geto's body back. Aww. Aww。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。大好き。
this episode, I refuse to believe that Nanami and Maki are just dead. On one hand, I'm like, it is Jujutsu Kaisen, and I've watched a lot of anime to where I'm almost traumatized into not falling in love with characters because they will just take them away from you in an instance. But I feel like Nanami and Maki deserve more than just getting barbecued. Like if they're gonna go and if they're gonna go out in a fight, like they're gonna go out in a fight. So I don't want to believe they're dead, but how how are they gonna come back from being barbecued? They literally got burned to the crisp. I mean, they showed the old man. So I I really don't know what to think. I feel like they're not. Well, I feel like they are, but I'm hopeful they're not. So let's see what's gonna happen there. I mean, if they are, justice for Nanami and Maki, because I feel like they should have gone out if they are gonna go out in a way cooler way. I almost forget how strong Jogo really is because I feel like every time we've ever seen Jogo, he gets kind of like bitched around by Gojo. Like every single time we've seen Jogo, Gojo kind of whoops his ass. So it makes him look weak, but it's like, no, he's just going against Gojo. So the fact that they were all like, holy shit, he's stronger than the other guy. It's kind of funny to me. The girls, they should have just kept their mouth shut. They should have just kept their mouth shut. I feel like he wouldn't have killed them. But the fact that they almost gave him like an ultimatum or like trying to bribe him, like, hey, if you help us, we'll give you a finger. And it's like, you literally woke me up and bothered me. And now you're like trying to give me an ultimatum or like bribe me. Like, girl, you should just be kissing my feet just because I'm here. So that was their mistake. That little scene though was them and Ghetto. That was really cute. But I love the fact that they like recognized that, you know, Gojo was his best friend. Um, yeah, this episode was this episode was pretty good. Again, I really hope Nanami and and Maki are okay because if not, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. But who knows? Um, thank you so much for watching this episode, and I will see you for episode 16.